this is Tamara at mooglyblog.com and in this video I'm going to be demonstrating how to sew the back stitch. Now I will be using Lion Brand Yarns Woolies Thick and Quick and a pair of scissors and a very large yarn needle. Um, I won't be using a crochet hook for this video because I'm demonstrating a sewing technique that you can use to seam your crochet or to add crochet appliques. So here I've got two other pieces of Woolies Thick and Quick, just a couple of rows of single crochet, and I'll be seaming these together just as demonstration pieces. Like I said, this could be a seam, you could print this as a seam on a sweater, it could be me sewing this applique to this piece of fabric. However, you want to use the back stitch. It's a great stitch to use and very secure, which is why I love it for appliques in particular. So let me go ahead and get a length of this yarn. Now, depending on the effect I'm going for, I might use a matching yarn. In this case, it would be white, so it sort of blends in. If I were sewing on an applique, I'd want to use the same color yarn as I used for the applique so that it would blend into the applique itself. But for this video, I'm going to be using a very, very contrasting yarn so that you can really get a good look at what I'm doing. Now, the reason I'm using such a large yarn needle is because this is very thick yarn. If this were, then this is a, uh, super bulky. If this was a worsted weight or finer, I would use a more standard size needle. But again, I just want to make it easier to see, so I've got a nice large needle for this one. So I'm going to go ahead and thread some yarn through my needle. Uh, for this, you don't want to work off the ball. You want to cut a length of yarn. How long just depends on what you're comfortable handling and how much you need to sew on. So let's pretend, like I say, this is the two pieces we want to sew together. So I might hold them this way. I might hold them both facing the same direction, that part doesn't really matter. Um, it's just depending on, again, what effect you're going for. But to sew the back stitch, what you want to do is, let's say I want to go all the way end to end. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start in the second stitch in. Not the one at the very end, but the next one over. Let's see if I can get this up a little closer to the camera. There we go. I'm going to go through both stitches there and pull through leaving a little length here at the end just to, in the end I would end up I would uh, weave this in when I was all done but for now it can just hang then I'm going to go back to the stitch before and go in there and that is really the key to why it's called the back stitch on the top of the fabric you're always moving backwards so that's what happens on top underneath to get to the next one then i'm going to skip to this one here come up through there remember that's from the wrong side underneath the bad side however you want to think about it of your project there and then i'm going to go back in that same spot we originally came up through these these needles are rather sharp so i want to be careful not to poke through the yarn itself just go next to it through the hole here there we go. Oops, you have to watch for that too. My yarn actually came up through the loop I just sewed. I don't want to catch that. I want it to go nice down into the fabric like so. See? And that's creating a nice solid line there across the top, um, which is another reason this is a good one to sew with. You don't get sort of any gaps in your seaming. So from underneath then, I'll come to the next one over here. And you can see in this video, obviously I'm sewing right to left. You could do this left to right, it doesn't really matter, whatever your personal preference is. Okay, I'm gonna come back up here, go down where we came from. Oops, see there I'm splitting the yarn. I'm gonna try and move that aside so I don't split the yarn there. Oops, pull it around, and there we go. I see is coming along quite nicely. You can see it's actually double strength here at the bottom almost because it's going over previous places. So it'll be a nice secure stitch. So from the bottom, we'll jump. We came, already did that one. We'll jump another one ahead. Pull it up through the top and then come right back down where we were before. So there you can see that is how you make the back stitch. When you get to the end, let's say this was where we wanted to stop sewing, I would go ahead and come up through there, catching all these crazy ends, there we go, and then come back through here, 
And then if I was done, I would go ahead and weave this in back here on the back of my fabric. So that is how you sew the back stitch. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please do subscribe to our channel and thank you so much for watching.